What up, guys? Kevin here. So in today's episode of Jason Schreier looking for drama that ain't there, um, he's pointing out, and I've seen a few other people pointing out, it's not just him, that uh, Raccoon Logic, previously Typhoon Studios, they are the guys, as you can see, they are guys, that made, I think, my game of the year last year, which was Journey to the Savage Planet. That was just an excellent fun six hour romp kind of reminded me of a very contained well drawn out um plot narrative kind of borderlands-esque humor no man's sky i love that game it was just one of those random pickups nothing to play i think it was like january i'm like oh, i'll buy this game played it loved it and even when it came out to game pass i wasn't upset because i love the game that much and I'm excited for these guys. They were able to keep the rights for Journey to the Savage Planet. Um, weren't they bought by like Stadia or something like that? I don't know. But yeah, they're out on their own. Um, they are now Raccoon Logic. They're, they were called Typhoon Studios. So good on them. Looks like Jason Schreier. And I've seen a couple other people here have a little bit of a problem with the studio. As you can see here, um, if you're white, you're not allowed to do stuff like this. You're not allowed to group together and create video games, according to Jason Schreier and a bunch of other um, woke motherfuckers. Um, yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. White guy, white guy, white guy, white guy, white guy, white guy, white guy. I, I want them all to do a 23andMe and just post their results. <laughs> It'll probably come back. A lot of whiteness, but I don't know. It's just Jason Schreier, again, looking for drama that ain't there. What are we getting mad about? All right. Is it acceptable for me to see an all-black studio, an all-woman studio? Am I allowed to get mad at that when I see that? No. I'll be called racist, sexist, you name it. So <laughs> when a group of guys are probably friends, these are probably friends hiring each other as friends, why does everything have to be super HR in the gaming industry? It doesn't need to be. Why can't a group of friends get together and make video games? And their video games get popular. Okay, they start to build out. They get a little bit of exposure. And now you get Jason Schreier on your ass for not having a woman or a person of color. Okay. <laughs> like, really. it's This is some toxic shit. Dude. This is the most toxic shit. Jason Schreier is a toxic motherfucker creating drama that ain't there who gives a fuck hey hey jason schreier you want to like do an experiment where you yourself as a white person go interview a job and same with a woman and a person of color who has more experience and then they choose the white person the white guy over the other two okay maybe you got a story there but again like Man, just out, just leave people the fuck alone. Let them run their business the way they want to run it. Because if this was an all black purse uh, studio, this was all female studios. No one's gonna be like, "Where's the white person? Where's the white man?" No, no, <laughs> that person would then be considered racist or sexist. Seriously, like. I don't know. It's just, I see stuff like this and I'm just like, my God, dumb, dumb, <laughs> dumb. Now, if they have a history of turning down people, people of color, woman, I'll be one thing. <laughs> I guarantee if you get a hot young thing interviewing, she might get the job. I'm sure these guys are looking around like, hey, this is kind of a sausage fest. But... Who knows? Who knows? I mean, and, and the fact if you even want to investigate this, <laughs> would that would just show where your head is at. I don't know what city they're from. I don't know the demographics, um, especially people that want to make video games. Like, what's the breakdown of people that want to make video games out there searching for jobs in the gaming industry? What, what do those demographics play out? Especially in this area where it's probably a lot of white men. <laughs> Let's be real. You, you can only hire what's around. 
it's uh, Jason Schreier needs to just go away. What good has he done? What good has he done in a while? I can't remember. Remember that whole like Sony article he did? Like all the studios are upset that they're concentrating on big blockbusters, not indies. And Sony came out and basically shut him the hell up. This dude is just a whiner. He's just looking for drama that ain't there. And look, you have an issue, Jason Schreier. You're, you're a person with um, power yourself, with influence. You need to watch what the hell you're writing and tweeting because this, this is some toxic shit. You're harassing these, this developer studio. Raccoon Logic, you're harassing them. You're putting pressure on them to go hire somebody that maybe not is even qualified for the job. Now, again, if this woman, person of color, is qualified for the job, okay, then you have something there. Let's see that article. Let's see that article where uh, Raccoon Logic is turning down these minorities and women over... A white dude. Man, you got it. You got issues. <laughs> you got issues. Um, like, <laughs> let's see. Can I open this up? Um, yeah. I mean, they look like they look like dudes who make video games and they all get along. And what's this guy? This guy in the middle here. Is this guy? Is this a white guy in here? In the middle with the Collared shirt. I don't know. Could be some Mexicans. Oh, this guy up here. It's. <laughs> I. Twitter's a dumb place. And Jason Schreier fills a lot of that dumb. All right, guys. I, I'm done. This is. Man, I, the studio gets any harassment. I think they should go after Jason Schreier and anyone who's tweeting this shit out. Like, really? Really? Just be like, hey, man, this happened to us because of this person's tweet. Put the put them fuckers out of business. Jason Schreier, like, if I'm Bloomberg, I would call him into my office and be like, what are you doing, man? No, this doesn't represent us. Go actually break news. A studio being all white is not news. It's not. What did they do wrong? Seriously, what did they do wrong? My God, my God. And if, if it's a problem, I'm sure a bunch of guys, they probably want some, some tail around there. Okay. Now I'm, I'm going to get myself in trouble. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching though. I'm, I'm just now dumber, dude. I am now dumber. What's that? Like Billy Madison, where he goes off that <laughs> the game show host. He's like myself and everyone in this room is now dumber. That's how I am. Whenever Jason Schreier, tweets this bullshit. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Later.